So, welcome to another Budget Model Railways video. I've decided that, um, as I'm cracking on with the loft now, as, if you like, as a priority, that I'm going to do an update every Friday. Now, I can't promise there'll always be loads done, but I thought what I'd do is say, every Friday, I'll upload a video on whatever I've managed to get done in the loft. Sometimes it'll be a lot, sometimes it won't. And then you can kind of factor it into your diaries and be ready for it. I have to say, that's turning out to be one of my nicest locos. That's the... Um, 440 Hunt Cotswolds. Uh, it's one of the ones I bought from Kerno uh, last year, I think, for about 55, 56, including postage. Unbelievably smooth and quiet. Bit of an impulse buy, but lovely on here, especially those blood and custard coaches. And then the uh, 29, of course, you saw the other week. So what have I got done, I hear you ask? Well, um, a little bit. So I've just today sat and started laying all the platform tops and they're just Metcalf card nice and easy and that's why I've used it um, fairly quick and it looks nice so that's going to be quite good in there I've also decided to get a little cattle and loading dock in there just to make the goods yard a little bit more useful and then the main thing that's taken all the time is this my uh, well it's actually a, a almost triple road over bridge so that's been made out of mountain board and serial packet card and super quick building papers now i'm not going to move it so you can see it because it, it it only just has enough clearance <laughs> it needed to be this needed to be quarter or half an inch wider so i'm not going to move it um, but it's literally all the detailing in there just been done by carefully cutting up the super quick sheets and the top is just mounting card painted humbrol 29 which happens to be a really good tonal match um, and I'm quite pleased with that. The idea is it's going to lead uh, to the little village on the hill. It goes to 29. Just let that run through. Um, it's nice to see the trains and then I'll show you where it's going to lead to. Um, and we're going to stay there for a second actually because we've got the uh, 440 coming through. There we go, that gives you a really good look at it. And so this is going to be a raised area with a village. Um, potentially with a road then, as I've said before, down behind the station. I can't decide at the moment whether to take the road from here down into the goods yard, which would kind of mean the station's in a loop of road, um, or whether to, to continue it off this way, disappearing off scene. Because what I'm going to stick to quite strictly is this is, this is what I'm building first. I'm going to get this scenic area built first um, before I worry about what's going to come here. Fairly certain this will be a dock, but, but I don't know what yet. Um, and obviously that this will stay at the moment um, and I've got to work the linkages out to that um, so that I can shunt on it but this is the main main effort um, I've started toying with level crossings that's the, uh, an old day pole one um, just to give you an idea of where it's going to go and then I can get a bit more village in there at the moment where I've got things stored so all in all I'm quite well I'm quite pleased with the progress because I say the the bridge actually took the best part of two days of spare time to build um, that's quite a nice shot isn't it probably should have used that as the thumbnail it's quite a nice one that one I might take that one so there we go it's just a little look this week a uh, little bit of progress so I did do these as well so that's the day pole station fitting so I've painted the fences painted the lamp posts uh, and they'll all be going in situ fairly soon so I'll just leave you as always with a few shots of trains running quite like this angle somebody commented on it because this is how you'd really see trains you wouldn't see them as we usually film them from above unless you were fortunate enough to own a drone <laughs> it's unfortunate for everybody else if you've got a drone uh, but it does make some lovely film so there we go that is just a lovely loco okay. And then three of those coaches, the paler ones, the ones we had the longest, they've been on exhibitions and all sorts of things. So they've been money well spent. And there we go. And I'll talk to you again next Friday. So set your diaries, your alarms or whatever. And we'll see you next Friday. Thank you as always for watching, commenting and subscribing.
Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.